What's up guys, my name is Tignobo here for Troubleshoot, and in my previous video, I ran through port forwarding Modern Warfare to open your NAT. Now some people got confused when it didn't work, and there's a couple of steps that I didn't mention in that video, however, most of the time that video will be more than enough for you. Now if you haven't watched that video, I'll run through the steps right now, however, if you have, you can skip through to the time on the screen here. So we have a list of ports that we need to forward. If you're on PlayStation, you'll forward these ones to your PlayStation via your router, PC, these ones, and Xbox One, these ones over here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Right, so here I am on my router. Let's quickly check what our local IP address is. So our computer's IP address, we'll do that with start R, CMD, IP config, and then we'll be copying the one over here that says IPv4 address, 192168, blah, blah, blah. Yours will usually be this, but it might be something different. And it should be under the Ethernet adapter if you're using cable or wireless if you're using that. So in my case, I only need the last few digits to put into here under the local IP. And then let's start port forwarding everything. So I'm using PC. So we'll port forward all of the ports down here. So TCP UDP 3074. Let's add that. Next is 27015 to 27030, which is just a TCP. Then 27036 to 27037 TCP. Then it's UDP 4380. Then UDP 27000 to 27036 UDP. Done. So now we've added everything into our router, we need to allow it through our Windows firewall. If you don't have an antivirus or a custom firewall installed, just hit start and type in firewall and head across to Windows Defender Firewall and you'll end up somewhere like here. So I have an antivirus managing this, but I'll still show you the steps here. Head across to advanced settings and then we have this screen here. Go to inbound rules new rule. So and here's where we need to enter all of these values. So we'll start with all of these values over here. Luckily, they're already set out in the way that you can just copy and paste them all in here. And it will open all of them at once. So 3074, this range, and then this range as well. Just make sure you have specific local ports and TCP checked. Go to next, make sure allow the connection is ticked. Select all three, next, and we'll give it a name and add TCP to the end of it just so we know which one it is. Then new rule once again, still on inbound rules, port UDP, and copy paste these ones in here, allow, and we'll name it again. This time we'll add UDP to the end of it. Hit finish, in the top left go to outbound rules, top right new rule, and now we'll go to port once again, and we'll copy the TCP ports, paste them in, next, and now here you'll need to make sure that you have allow the connection ticked, next, all three ticked, next, and we'll name it TCP, finish. New rule, port, next, UDP, copy and paste the UDP values in, next, allow the connection, all three ticked, next, and name it again, and then finish. Now, if you don't have an antivirus installed or another firewall, then you're basically free to start up your game and check to see if your NAT is actually open. However, if you do have an antivirus installed or a custom firewall, you'll need to allow these Modern Warfare ports through that. So I have ESET on my PC that has a built-in firewall. Instead of going through all the effort to port forward in this, you can go ahead and Google for your specific antivirus or firewall software. For me, I'm just going to right click on the icon and then pause firewall, which allows all traffic. Once that's done, my computer is no longer blocking any ports in the firewall and it's port forwarded via the router to my PC. So as long as you set up everything correctly, this should be working 100% perfectly. So the router that I showed you was a custom thing that I made just as a simple emulator that should work for a very broad number of routers and it shouldn't be too different to that. If you find yourself stuck or confused, make sure to use Google to find out how to do it on your own router, search for the brand and model, and if you're confused with how to disable your antivirus firewall or allow these ports through it, go ahead and Google for that as well. Thank you guys for watching, my name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoots. I hope this answers some of your questions that you had in the previous video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Oh, and one last thing for those of you who want some proof to see that this actually does work. Here's an excerpt from my previous video. This is before I port forwarded, and this is right after I port forwarded. So hopefully yours will end up the same way that mine did with an open NAT.